good day everyone welcome to studio 39 design studio this is richmond speaking your resident architect in this video we're going to be talking about archicad layout and title block setup but before we continue i'd like to encourage you guys to like comment and subscribe to this channel because i'll be doing videos like this every week now let's get into it. Here we are going to be talking about layout and title block setup for Archicad. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, subset settings, layout settings, master layout settings. Also, we're going to be talking about auto text and project info, which I talked about on the first video of the Archicad template build series. Uh, the first video in the series which I'm going to leave on the top right hand corner right now Also, what we're gonna be talking about is the drawing number sequence as you can see below right here on the screen We have my preferred sequence for drawing numbers. I want us to start here so that it will make it make it easy to understand exactly what I'm trying to achieve when we do set up the title block. As you can see on my sequence, you see that uh, I have STU39DS, which, is, which simply expresses Studio 39 Design Studio, which is my business or company. And then the triple X is just the project code. It can be three letters, it can be four letters. It's really up to you. For me, I prefer using three letters the R represents revision a B and C for conceptual and approval works one two three and so on for construction works and then we have the drawing or layout number indicated as triple zero uh, we can have triple uh, zero which will represent site plans 100 until 199 which is going to be representing floor plans we have 200 until 299 representing elevations 300 for sections 400 for schedules 500 for details and so on and so forth depending on what you want to show next lastly but definitely not least will be the layout name or drawing names this can be indicating site plan floor plan elevation section and so on and so forth now that we have covered the drawing number sequence let's head over to archicad here we go in archicad this is just a layout which i just uh, recently which is part of the template which i created and uh, as you can see i've already created some master layouts uh, with my title block obviously i'm not going to be worried about the master layouts i want to create subsets so in order to create a subset you need to go right click on where project name is or book name is as you can see the book name right now is represented by project name here which is then pulled from the project info under file info and project info as you can see here i did put as part of my project info project name which is going to be going over here so if i were to change this or just add zero one and say okay it will then update over there with that said what i want to do is i want to create a new subset for uh, say site plans so a site if you want to create a new subset you can click the icon right there at the bottom you can create new master layout by clicking on this icon the next icon to the left new layout and then this one is just indicating that you want to go into settings for whatever is currently selected here in the view but you can also just right click and create new subset 
Before we continue, I'll just like to explain creating new subsets. We have the subset identification at the top and IDs of the items in the subset. The subset name will just have to be site plans. Uh, what also you want to do, everything else is fine. We're going to be assigning ID automatically. But what I want us to do here at the, at the ID of item in subset is under custom ID assignment, we're going to be using, we're going to be adding a preface to the subset, which is going to be st, stu 39ds dash um, triple X, which is going to be the project code. And then it's going to be R for revision. Let's just start with A, obviously, because every work we start with is conceptual until it's approved either by the client or the municipality. And then we're just going to click over there. I think we're going to leave it at, at that for now because what is going to be filled in as the drawing number is going to come from ID style. So we're going to be using uh, three numbers at that and uh, we want to start from zero. It's going to, you can see the preview on the right hand side, uh, stu triple x a dash zero 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 one zero zero two. That's how we're going to be identifying the site plans. And then we can just click create. Now it doesn't show anything over here. The only thing I want to rename with this one is I want to remove the ID because it's not that important but what I want to do now under the subset as it's selected I can right click it or I can just click at the bottom here create new uh, layout but I'm going to right click and say new layout now the new layout is going to be using a master the masters I've already shown you guys I'm going to be using the A1 to begin this and then this one is going to be called site plan and that's the only thing right now which I'm really worried about as you can see it just comes out as how we set up the preface which is going to be stu 390s triple x a double triple zero site plan and then if we want to create another new layout we can right click that new layout or right click the subset itself and then we can create a new layout this one is going to be say site establish meant blend and that's the only thing i need and then maybe the next one will be landscaping plan everything else is of no importance for now because we have already pulled in the information which is necessary so we can go ahead and just say create and that is part of the of the subset now i've shown you guys how to create a layout now i want us to go into the title block to show dynamic information about the project or the layout so what we're gonna do is I'm going to go into the master which we're using which is the a1 landscape okay so now we're going to be creating the auto text for this title block which is going to show dynamic information on each and every layout so in order to do that uh, obviously uh, I have the project and project description so I'm gonna go ahead and say project and then so I'm gonna double click this and then I'm gonna say control A to select all and then I'm going to go to auto or insert auto text for this one that's the A with the uh, with the uh, semicircle with an arrow towards the end and then it's going to pop up 
this this window and then you're going to select what type of information you want to pull into that auto text under the project details which is in the project info which i already showed you guys how to set up we're going to pu be pulling in the project name which is this one and then we can just do that and then it pulls in project name here so should i go to file info project info and go to project name and change the project name say to uh rich men's house it's going to change that info right here and it also does change it in the book set setup now the project description is going to be pulled the same way we're going to be going to layout at this time because i want to uh pull in the layout name which is going to be site plan okay so obviously it's not showing site plan here it's only showing the hashtag or the pound sign with layout name but when we go into the site plan here you'll see that it does pull in the site plan name or the layout name so if i go to the next one it will change it to site establishment and the next one it will be changed to landscaping plan that's how dynamic information is shown when creating a title block so other information like designer so if i wanted uh, to indicate who's the designer i can go in here uh, project info and just create go to project detail and then uh, designer designed by or designer I say okay so obviously it's indicating my name checked by if uh, and then checked by it's going to go over here I'm gonna click add if I if I put a different name if if I have someone that's checking it different to me uh, I'll just update that information under project info over here so if I have a different designer I'll do that if I have a, a, a someone else who's doing the checking or someone else who do, who's doing the, uh, the the drawings I'll just update it there and it's going to show dynamically in my title block same thing here checked by no, this time it's drawn by. Say okay. So for scale also, I never actually indicate the scale of the uh, drawing which is shown on the layout because obviously I might have multiple uh, scales shown. So what I usually do is I have a preset which is going to be as shown and then the date obviously. Uh, in order to do this we can just go to auto and then we can go to we can close that we're gonna go under systems and then we're gonna say date short so i'm going to be using a short form of the date and then the date today is the 18th of june 2020 and that's how it's going to show so every day when I, it's going to be updating every day as I go along with the drone. The other thing is the drawing number. Now the drawing number is going to be pulled from the under layout. I think layout out ID. As you can see, drawing number and then it's going to pull in the layout ID which is actually the drawing number and it's going to be showing the most important thing here would be the triple zero information or on the next one will be the double zero one or the next one will be the double zero two that's the only thing that changes so basically that's how you set up dynamic information for the title block and you can see here everything is pulled in now if you have uh, another thing that I want us to indicate here is the revision. We can either 
uh, have the revision as a dynamic information or we can put it in manually on the layout which is going to be which is going to be used rather than on the master but if you're not keen on using it uh, that way you can uh, I've already prepared under uh, under project info a revision uh, area so all of them all of my subsets all of my layouts will have the revision of a for now until I change it in the project info so that's basically how you do it so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create more information and then I'll, I'll show you guys at the end how it all looks like gone ahead and created site plan information floor plan elevations sections schedules and details obviously schedules I have window and door schedule and they have the both uh, the accurate drawing number of 400 uh, 300 for the sections and uh, 200 for the elevations 100 for the floor plans with uh, uh, 500 for the details which is, can be sectional details floor plan details whatever so on and so forth so this is the bare bones for for my setup and uh, i hope this information was helpful for you guys so uh, i'm going to go ahead and populate the auto text information which i pulled pulled into the a a1 landscape master layout into the other master layouts which can be the a0 or the a2 or even the a3 because i haven't pulled in that information as of yet but uh thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful uh stay tuned um and uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this because i'll be doing videos like this every week Love you guys, God bless you, and goodbye.